Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm making a super healthy grain bowl that's topped with garlicky kale, roasted sweet potatoes, and the best mushrooms you'll ever try. So I'm still trying to forge ahead with eating kind of healthy in the beginning of this new year. So I wanted to create a quinoa based salad. This grain bowl is so delicious. I made it for dinner last week and my husband and I were like, this has to be a video because it is so flavorful. You are going to love this. We've been wanting to try to eat healthier at lunchtime. So this is the perfect make ahead salad where you can make it in bulk and then portion it out throughout the week. So my husband can take it with him every day to work and I can eat it here at home. I'm starting today with a whole bunch of sweet potatoes that I scrubbed up and then peeled and I chopped very finely because you want to have a little bit of sweet potato in every bite of your salad. So what I'm going to do is top these with a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and a dash of cinnamon which gives it this little bit of warmth and sweetness. It's so great. And I'm going to pop them in my oven which I preheated to 425 degrees and the sweet potatoes are going to roast for about 40 to 45 minutes and they're going to get a little bit caramelized on the outside and they'll be tender on the inside. While the sweet potatoes roast in the oven, I'm going to cook my quinoa. So I have a half a cup of quinoa here that I rinsed under cold water and I'm adding it to one cup of water. So depending on how much salad you'd like to make, it's just a two to one ratio of water to quinoa. And I'm going to cover this and bring it to a boil and then this will simmer covered for about 15 minutes until the quinoa absorbs all of the water. Now while the quinoa cooks, I'm going to prep the other veggies for my salad. I'm starting with two 8 ounce packages of white button mushrooms and you can absolutely buy these pre-sliced. I did that last week, they just didn't have any left at my store this week. So I bought them whole and then I just rinsed them under some cool water because whenever you buy fresh mushrooms they always have a little bit of dirt left on them. Even the pre-sliced ones I would recommend rinsing off a little bit in case there's any extra dirt. I pop the stems out and now I'm just going to slice these up thinly and we're going to cook them in soy sauce sauce, honey, butter, and a little bit of fresh garlic, and they're going to be so tasty. So in my skillet over about medium heat, I have a tablespoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter that's melting down, and to that I'm going to add all these sliced mushrooms. So this might look like a lot of mushrooms, but they're going to cook down a lot, and you're going to want a lot of these because they taste so incredible, trust me. Now I'm just stirring them around to get them coated in the olive oil and butter and they're going to start to release a little bit of liquid which you'll see eventually and once that happens that's where we're going to add some garlic and the other seasonings and then that liquid's going to cook out and they're going to get nice and brown, a little bit caramelized and be super flavorful. And as a side note, my quinoa is over to my right here and that came to a boil so I reduced the heat to low and now it's simmering for the next 15 minutes until it's cooked through. I'm just peeling two cloves of garlic, one to add to my kale and one to add to the mushrooms. So as soon as I get the peel off, I'll just chop it up nice and fine and then throw one clove of garlic in with the mushrooms. As you can see, the mushrooms have released a lot of liquid, so next we're going to add in the one clove of garlic. And just so you know, these have been cooking probably for about five minutes at this point. So I'm going to stir that in and then grab my soy sauce and honey. And it already smells incredible in here. You can smell the garlic and you can smell that little bit of cinnamon with the roasting sweet potatoes too. Lots of flavor. I reduced the heat on my mushrooms just a little bit to about medium low and I'm going to add in some soy sauce, probably maybe about two tablespoons total. All right, so that'll cook down. And then I'm gonna add maybe about um, a teaspoon of honey. 
just for a little bit of sweetness. And we'll stir that all together, and then that has to cook for an additional five minutes or so. And the liquid will reduce down, and the mushrooms are gonna get a little bit more brown in color, and they're just gonna absorb all of this incredible flavor. My potatoes have been roasting for about 20 minutes and I want to use my fish spatula which I mentioned in my Christmas gift guide video. It has this super thin edge here. I'm going to use this to flip them over so that they get brown on both sides. So it's been about five or six minutes and you can see that all of that liquid has been absorbed and the mushrooms are slightly darker in color and I think they're ready to go. So I turned off my heat and now I'm just gonna remove them into this little bowl over here because I'm gonna use this same skillet to cook my kale. You don't even need to wipe this out. We're just gonna add a little more olive oil to the skillet and cook it right in there. So I added another teaspoon or so of olive oil. Today I'm just using kale straight out of a bag, so it's already pre-washed and chopped up for me. So I'm just gonna toss, this is about a half a bag by the way, because I use the other half for dinner tonight. Toss that in, and this is gonna cook pretty fast. We'll just add the garlic in at the very end. My kale is over about medium heat, and it's not gonna take too long to cook. You just want it to wilt down slightly, but retain a little bit of its crunchiness. It'll be nice and vibrant green in color. Just before the kale finishes cooking, I'm gonna add in that other clove of garlic that I chopped up, because we don't wanna burn that, so that's only gonna cook for the last minute or so. My ingredients are all ready to go. I have my roasted sweet potatoes, which ended up only taking about 30 minutes because I chopped them so fine, but I think that's gonna be the perfect size for this salad. I have my wilted kale that has a nice garlicky taste and smell to it. I have my savory mushrooms back here that are so good, I can't wait to dig into those. And I have my quinoa, which just like you would with rice after it's cooked, I took a fork and I fluffed this up. Just like that. So now we're gonna assemble the bowl. I'm starting with a bed of quinoa in the bottom of my bowl. And I made enough for two servings today. So I'm gonna use about half of the quinoa in here. There we go, good step one. Oh, and I wanted to mention too that when I made these before, I didn't season the quinoa at all. And the other ingredients were so flavorful that it didn't even need it. It just all blended together and tasted awesome. But if you did wanna dress your quinoa a little bit, you could use maybe about a teaspoon of olive oil, a little splash of lemon juice, and just some salt and pepper. Very simple, but I think it'll bump up the flavor even more. Next, I'm adding my sweet potatoes. So again, about half of what I have in the bowl here. And I started with one medium sweet potato per person. Okay, those look nice and caramelized, a little bit crispy around the edges. Oh, I need this. Next are our mushrooms. And you might think it's a lot, but wait till you try them. I'm using eight ounces of mushrooms per person, so half of this bowl. Sprinkle that on. And this is great too, because as a vegetarian dish, it's nice to have kind of that meaty, hearty quality with the mushrooms. Okay, I'm doing a little more than half, but this is my bowl. And lastly, our kale. Nice and vibrant and green. And I'm just gonna spoon this over top too. There we go, and I'll just toss it all together. This salad looks so beautiful, and it smells even better. So now, I get to taste it. And since I chopped everything up nice and small, I get a little bit of each veggie in my bite. Get some of those mushrooms. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. This is so flavorful. I don't know if you ever heard of the term umami, where it's a really savory flavor. This is out of this world. Mm. When I made this salad last week for my family, I added chopped chicken breast on top. I had sauteed it in my skillet, the same one I used for the mushrooms and the kale, with a little bit of soy sauce and honey, just like the mushrooms, and it had extra flavor and it was really, really hearty and filling. But this would also be incredible if you topped it with a poached or a fried egg. I would highly recommend giving that a try. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with another family recipe. For the full recipe, check the description box below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen.